Let's see what's... This mystery bag has better stuff. Like a lot better stuff. What the f... Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tifa for those who don't know and today we are going to be opening up Crunchyroll mystery bags. So I recently had the chance to fly over from Perth to Sydney for Smash Anime Festival and at the convention there was a Crunchyroll booth selling these $50 mystery bags. Now, I'm pretty sure they're limited to one per person, so I was able to grab one off of a friend in order to show you guys what's inside of them and what different things we might get. So, yeah. <laughs> I know that mystery bags are quite popular, especially in Japan, so I'm interested to see if this is actually $50 worth of product or more and what we might get out of these uh, crunchy roll bags. <laughs> I seriously just can't get over how big they are in comparison to me, but um, yeah, so let's open them up. <laughs> so this is our first mystery bag. Let's find out what's inside. So this year is the 20th anniversary of the Naruto anime, and this isn't included in the Crunchyroll bags, but I did grab one of these Naruto posters from the Crunchyroll booth. I thought it was kind of cute. Um, it got a little bent, but that, that's okay. I can fix that. <laughs> Um, okay, for any Evangelion fans out there, there's this, it's a little shiny, this little, like, pin? Is it a pin? Yeah, it's a pin of, um, Shinji. It's kind of cool though because it comes in like a, a display box, but it's a pin, a fig pin that comes in a display box, so I can put it on display instead of having to pin it to something, which is actually pretty cool, officially licensed Evangelion. Um, merch. It's actually pretty cool. Shall we, shall we take it out of the plastic wrapping? I don't know. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it to the side for now. Okay. What else do we have in here? Fate Grand Order Jewel. It's like a wristband. What is it? Yes, I think it's a wristband from Fate Grand Order. This is Buster. I'm not the biggest fake fan, but kind of cool, kind of cool. Oh, we actually got a Blu-ray. That's kind of cool that they had Blu-ray DVDs in there. Okay. The highly anticipated anime adaption of the popular fantasy style online 2 game. Okay. Never seen this before, but it, it looks kind of cute, actually. Kind of interesting. We can put it up on the shelf. Oh. One Piece, Adventure of Nebulandia. That's cool, we got a, a One Piece um, movie as well. Okay, DVD, something new to watch. <laughs> we also have this Demon Slayer figure as well. I do find this character kind of interesting, but I don't know that much about them, but it's kind of cool that this figure was in there. There's something at the bottom, and um, I thought I was done with this bag. Hold on. Oh my god, what is these? Here's our empty bag, I'm gonna put it down. <laughs> so on the back it said Spy Family, so I was like, what is this? But then, I think they're like different anime postcards because the first one is Boruto. <laughs> um, and then it's like a little Crunchyroll postcard there, which is kind of cute, kind of cute. Then we have Shadow House, the second season. And that's the bat. Devil is a part-timer, season two. I am intrigued to see how this will go. Then we have Overlord, season four. That's the back of that one as well. Got Chainsaw Man, which hasn't come out yet actually. So that's kind of cool, Chainsaw Man. Not suitable for sale. <laughs> this is the back as well. And then we have a little a little spy family one. This is really cute too. Could probably put it with my spy family manga. And the same with the Chainsaw Man one and my Chainsaw Man manga, but yeah. That is the first Crunchyroll mystery bag. I mean, I think it's definitely worth more than $50, but don't think there's anything in there that I'm particularly overly excited about. <laughs> and we have the second mystery bag, which feels heavier. Um, so I guess let's see what's 
This mystery bag has better stuff. Like a lot better stuff. What the f <sighs> So firstly, we have a Nezuko plush. Oh my God. I'm stealing this one. She's so cute. Oh, let's fix her dress actually. Oh, Nezuko, what are you doing? But yeah, there's like a little Nezuko plush, which is kind of cute as well. Sales outside of Japan only, what? Interesting. Adorable though, that's kind of cool. Nezuko is like a fan favorite. <laughs> Shikamaru, oh, I love Shikamaru. No, he looks so good, what? Oh my God, oh my God. That's pretty cool. I don't know how much this figure's worth. I mean, those two items together alone for this mystery bag kind of like makes it worth it, but there's more, there is more. So like, oh my goodness. The first mystery bag was such a disappointment in comparison. What the heck? We've got Steins Gate part one. That's pretty cool. At least it's a, it's a part one of a series as well. And I know a lot of people really like Steins Gate, which is surprisingly an anime that I have not seen, but okay. That's cool, I like that it's part one as well. Okay, the complete series of Hensuki. Okay, we, we know that this is definitely gonna be about a pervert, right? Are you willing to fall in love with a pervert as long as she's a cutie? Oh, she's the pervert, okay. Are they all perverts? It looks like a, a harem, a harem anime. Um, <laughs> the back though, okay, it says, if the panty fits. <laughs> and uh, there's one girl for every fetish in this adorable perverted romantic comedy. Keiki Kiru receives a mysterious love letter that has no name and a pair of panties. Oh my god. <laughs> Curious to find this panty leaving Cinderella, his investigation leads him to discover that every candidate is a total pervert. <laughs> Oh my god, this sounds hilarious. Okay, I see you, Crunchyroll. <laughs> I just realized that I have already seen this anime uh, because I'm a filthy degenerate. So yeah, guess now it gets to officially be part of my collection. <laughs> and then we also have the postcards, which appear to be the same postcards as the other one and another one of these fate armbands as well. Okay, so that first mystery bag was eh, but the second mystery bag was a lot better, which is kind of crazy. Um, yeah, wow, okay. Those are the Crunchyroll mystery bags. Um, there are definitely things in there that I am happy that we got out of the bags as well that I'll definitely be putting on display and keeping and some other things that I'm not so sure about. I do like the fact that they have DVDs and Blu-rays inside of the mystery bags as well, especially since some of them might be anime that people haven't seen or might be slightly lesser known. So it gets people to watch new anime as well because you've just been given it for You've just been given it as part of your, you know, mystery bag, which is awesome. But yeah, that is all for the Crunchyroll mystery bags. I hope you guys enjoyed my little unboxing of these mystery items. <laughs> if you guys went to Smash at all and did get a Crunchyroll mystery bag, let me know down below what you guys got as well as what you would keep and what you wouldn't keep from these mystery bags. If you like this type of content, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more otaku related content, then don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.